are product inserts or thank you cards against Amazon's terms of service? Um, no, they are not. However, there are three aspects of product inserts or thank you cards that many sellers make the mistake of that do go against Amazon's terms of service, okay? So number one, it is a myth that you can't have product inserts, you can't use thank you cards. Um, these are absolutely within Amazon's terms of services as long as you don't do one of these three things. So number one, you cannot incentivize in any way, whether you just ask for it outright or incentivize a positive review. You can ask for an honest review. You cannot ask for a positive review. Okay. So you can't give them something in return and something else you can't do. Okay. And this is where a lot of sellers mess up. You cannot ask someone, Hey, if you uh, love your product, if you enjoyed your experience, then please leave us an honest review. And if you had any issues, then contact us. That's against Amazon's terms of service. Cause think about what you're doing. You are trying to incentivize a positive review. I mean, of course we all want positive reviews, right? But we also don't want to get our account shut down. So you cannot do that. You can't say, if you liked your product, leave us an honest review. If you disliked it, then contact us at this number or this email, or whatever it is. Okay. So you can't do that. Um, do not incentivize. Don't say, Hey, like leave us a review and we'll give you 15% off or Hey, we'll give you a free product. If you leave us a review, that's also against Amazon's terms of service. And number three that a lot of people don't keep in mind is you, you cannot use product inserts or thank you cards to divert sales traffic away from Amazon. So that means you can't have a link to your website saying, Hey, buy your next product um, at our website. Like don't go to Amazon, right? Go to our website. Um, so, you know, you can't divert sales traffic and you also can't appear like you're diverting sales traffic. Okay. So if you say, you know, Hey, um, here's an offer at this, you know, this, uh, landing page, like with a click funnels landing page and you send them there. Um, if Amazon views that as diverting sales traffic, you can get your account shut down or you can experience some issues. Um, again, I haven't personally, um, however, you know, you want to be careful in how you word things. Okay. Uh, it, it basically you don't want to, appear and you definitely don't want to uh, divert sales traffic away from Amazon. That's probably the most important. That's even more important than um, asking people for positive reviews. Okay. So don't divert sales traffic. Don't incentivize for reviews and um, don't ask for positive reviews. You can use your inserts and simply say, Hey, um, we really appreciate your honest feedback on Amazon. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your business, you know, then your company name. Um, it can be really that simple. However, Here's what I'd recommend doing instead. So if you do that with your product inserts or your, um, your thank you cards, you can be just fine. However, there's a way you can get 10 times or 20 times better results. Um, and that is that when someone, when you send your product in, think of a way that you can add value after someone's already bought your product. So a couple common ways of doing this is offering some kind of coupon code or discount. Again, you're not offering them the coupon code or the discount or the, 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 the free product or anything like that. In return for a review, you're giving them a coupon code um, just outright. Like, hey, here's a coupon code, right? So that's number one. Number two is you can um, have some kind of article or information product, like a short ebook or something like that, that shows people how to use your product. Um, and again, it totally depends on your product and it's really broad but this works really, really well for some of my products. Like here's five tips on how to use this or 10 tips or, or here's the proper like, um, use of it. Or, you know, we're really excited. Here's like a promo video to get you, you know, to get them excited about the product. Again, if it makes sense, it totally depends on your product. Um, those are two really powerful strategies to add value, make your customer even more happy and then ask for the review. Okay. So it's very unlikely someone's going to leave a review. Once they see that piece of paper, they're going to open your product, see that paper and throw it away. It does help, but it's, it's not as valuable as it could be. So here's what I recommend doing. And I have a video on this specifically, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll have a link either in the description or in this video or at the end of the video. But what I do and what I'd recommend doing is creating what's called a parametric QR code. Okay. That's a QR code. It's a much better looking QR code that you can create um, very easily and you scan and your customer will scan it and it will take them to your um, chat bot. So it'll take them to your Facebook um, messenger. And basically the, the, the positive part about this or the reason you want to do this is you can say, Hey, you know, scan this code to get 15% off your next product or another product or Hey, uh, click this code, you know, uh, scan this code to view this article on, you know, five best uses for this product, right? You they scan it, they go to your Facebook chat bot. And then there it's basically kind of like an automated email sequence. But in this case, it's a Facebook uh, messenger sequence is like, you ask them, Hey, are you interested in, you know, the, the coupon code? Are you interested in the information product? If they say yes, then you, you go ahead and give it to them. And then you set up an automatic delay to where you basically, you know, made them happy. Obviously they're very interested in your product. Um, they're obviously probably very happy customers because they're engaging with your product more than the others. Um, the other customers 
who didn't click in and you can automatically after a few days of them um, you know taking that free kind of that coupon or that information product you can then ask them at that time to leave a, an honest review okay again and you leave an honest review um, and you can have a link uh, to the review section specifically, which makes it really easy. So they don't have to go, you know, look at a card and go back to Amazon and type it in and try to figure it out. Um, you know, they're already number one, super happy. Number two, they've already used your product where when you just have a product insert and, and the customer hasn't used it yet, it's very unlikely for them to write a review when they haven't experienced it yet. But now they've used the product, you made them really happy and it's really, really easy for them to leave a review. So it's, you've now increased your likelihood of getting a review from those customers by 10 to 20 times, okay? Super, super powerful and on average, uh, you know, just using kind of a standard product insert, even with email marketing and all that, you'll probably get around a 1% review rate. What I found and what I know other sellers are doing using parametric QR codes or that kind of, you know, using Facebook Messenger with their um, product insert is getting anywhere uh, from 12, 15 or even more percent actually scanning it and, um, and viewing the content and kind of consuming that information product or that promotion code, which really increases the likelihood of um, your customers leaving a review. Now you may not get you know, 12% or 15% review rate, but you're, it'll definitely go up from 1%. You have much happier customers um, and it really improves their experience overall and ultimately will help you generate more money. And it's, what's beautiful about it is it's all automatic, right? You, you create these um, product inserts and it kind of works for you with every product that you send out and it works much better than what anybody else is doing. And again, I have a video on this specifically, but hopefully now you know what not to do for your product insert, what you should be doing for your product insert. And if you found this video helpful, let me know by giving me the thumbs up. If you have any questions or, or want any help with your product insert, um, be sure to comment below uh, and you know, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well because I have a lot of great videos currently like this on my channel and a lot more coming to you very soon. And I wanna make sure you don't miss out. So as always, honestly, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.